Oh. <clears throat> okay, here, guys. So, I need to take the time here to apologize to you all because I gave some wrong information on my last video regarding M1 Finance and their uh, 1% investing. I mean, 1% uh, interest pay. So M1 Finance, it is true that you will get 1% interest pay on the money that you just have sitting there in the, uh, the checking account section of the uh, app or site. But what I forgot to say, what I, what, what I didn't look at, was that's only possible as if you are a member of the M of the M1 Plus. And so if you look at the, the membership detail says, uh, let's see, view all benefits here. So all benefits of M1 Plus, you get smart transfers. So uh, you get to set up the rules, which we were using earlier in my last video uh, for your money. You get 2% interest in borrow, which I wouldn't do this because I don't use margin. But if you want to borrow margin, uh, you can do that, 2% interest borrow. Uh, and this is what I had right here, which is the 1% checking you earn 30, 33 times the natural average and so that's what i have right there but i didn't know that was with the membership and also i also said this too the custodial accounts it's also with the membership so you can make custodial, custodial accounts in one finance also but it is with the membership uh you do get one percent cash back if you have, if you want to use the card that your money's on you can get one percent cash back on all your purchases so you also be getting one percent cash back every month and one percent cash back on all the purchases that you do they do reimburse your ATM fees and you get the uh, trading windows and they'll send checks for you also. So you need a check sent, they'll send the checks for you. Now, how much does this membership cost is the real question here. So this membership cost, we're not going to look at this because this is a promotion that I got at 462. We're going to assume that I paid $125 for the membership. And so let's assume that we paid $125 for this uh, membership, um, let's see here. And so, if you're going to do this at one percent a month, you want to start off with I would say one thousand and five hundred dollars. The reason why I say that is because yeah, let's say we open this up right, and we, we pay the one twenty-five. And after we pay the one twenty-five, we only put in uh, let's say we put in uh, what's a good number here? Let's say one thousand. Let's do one percent of one thousand uh, I put ten thousand my head's in the future in it so you do one percent of ten thousand that's ten right and so you get you'll get ten dollars every month and so you'll do ten times twelve with every month that's one hundred twenty you're paying one hundred twenty five dollars a year and so that means that you're losing money and so if you're losing five dollars obviously you're not making money so you're losing money and if you're losing money it doesn't make any sense you can also do one percent if you want to do the bare minimum one thousand two hundred and fifty that'll put you right at uh twelve dollars and fifty cents you do that times twelve you get 150 so i say the minimum you can start off with is 1250 because that way every year you're paying 150 I mean, every year you're paying 125 but you're making uh oh i do not know what i'm doing today do, do i guys you're making 25 dollars so at least you're still making money so i say in one finance if you're going to start in finance and you want to use the one percent uh checking on there start with at least $1,250 that way the membership pays for itself at the same time you're making money if you're going to be adding money to it like I plan on doing I'm doing $100 every week it probably won't matter to you because you're adding money to it and you're getting money every month so in this scenario here you'll be making uh, that much a year and every year if you're not adding if you're not adding money to this you'll make a $25 profit every year that's it this is about saving that money to it obviously if you're adding money to this then it's going to be higher than that and you also have that snowball effect also so remember for me guys I was adding I'm doing $100 a week here so if I'm doing $100 a week uh -oh, wrong one so let's say here if I'm doing $100 a week here $100 a week times four weeks all right that's 400 a month times 12 I'll have four thousand eight hundred 
every month that I'm adding into there. And so this is after the first year. This is without interest. This is without me doing any calculations, anything like that. So this is the first year. So let's just fast forward to the end of our first year journey here. If I was to stay on this trend right here, I'm not doing a, I'm not even going to add the months, the interest from the month. That's just minus the 125 for the yearly pay. The 125 for yearly pay, that gives me 4,675. And so this, let's say we started next year off with, no, because let's say we started the year after next year off. So let's say we got uh, 4,600. 75 let's say we got that okay uh let's just say uh one -uh. percent that's how much i'll be making 46 dollars which isn't much but i'll be making 50 dollars every no i'll be making 46 dollars every month uh for the next year by itself obviously it'll go up because they'll have the interest put in there by itself and it'll go 46 dollars one percent of that one percent so it'll be going up so i'll be making a good little profit here and i'll say towards the end of the year i'm it, it, it'll it'll pretty much double if i keep on the same path so long story short if you are going to do the m1 finance uh do plan on using a minimum of putting have a minimum of 1250 just sitting there that way if you're not going to put any money into it it will go ahead and uh pay for itself there so i wanted to clear that up because i did get misinformation on that i want to make sure my information is accurate to help out any newcomers that is just going out with investing and maybe uh help out any old people out there that are just trying to look for passive income this is a slow way to do it but passive income is passive income and this is just one way to do it i just want to make sure my information was correct and i did want to fix any mistakes that i may have made in my previous video and so that would mean that uh, if you want to do it without spending money, Robinhood probably would be best, but Robinhood is only 0 0.30, so it is a lot less Robinhood, but it is completely free with Robinhood. And when finance, you have to pay for, but it is better. So it depends on if you want to go that free route or if you want to pay for it. And if you guys want to do the interest income that way, have your uh, decisions based on that. Remember, you have friends in the new monarchy.